press that came out in the UK, everyone was describing it as like the filthiest show that's ever been on TV. Oh my really? God. I think based on like my friends and my experience, like it's not filthy. Do you know what I think it is? It was really important there was no kind of nudity or like sexual gratuity in the images, so you never see anyone naked. <laughs> what was really exciting is knowing that in a close up, that the character mid sex to turn around to you and go, he's going to fuck me up the ass. You too. <laughs> Fuck me up the ass. I think showing like someone's internal monologue while they're having sex is actually more shocking than showing hardcore like ass fucking in a show. A few people have been like outraged at the depiction of anal sex. They're like, it's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! The anal sex community is outraged. <laughs> Shows for women don't often reflect what I'm talking about with other women. Your show does not feel like it has that disconnect. The closest thing I've come to be able to describe it is a woman who uses humour, relentless humour and sexual candour and honesty to distract you from the fact that she's actually dealing with a whole load of pain. Do you remember the first time you were using humour to not deal with shit? Oh, all the time. Because it's like this perfect way of running away and fronting up to something at exactly the same point. I'm just going to ask her. I'm just going to ask her. I'm just going to come. Do you need to borrow money? No. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Can't do it. Did you feel as though the confessional element was necessary? I just really wanted to fuck with the audience, to be honest. Right. <laughs> Is that true? That's like, really? Yeah, that that's true? just always my intention, just to fuck around with the audience, <laughs> make them love the character and then betray them. It was perfect for feedback because she's just constantly got you in her eye line. And right. she's like, come with me, my life is hilarious. And then you're like, yeah, it's really fun. And then you're like, oh no, she's really sad. So many articles that have been written about you recently, and it's always like the unlikable, the flawed, the, <laughs> the damaged, the anti-hero. I don't get I it. I think that's the final hurdle, actually. When that conversation gets tired, especially in the conversations about Fleabag, people are saying it in a positive way, that she's flawed and, and yet we like her. That's true, yeah. Women are in, that's like. <laughs> it's absolutely true. That's <laughs> like, they're really fashionable at the moment. I would love really... to see like, Winston Churchill's like, it's a good time to be a man. <laughs> like, I feel like, he was like, you know what? This is the time, we're gonna lose out soon. A white man, <laughs> really great time.